everyone, I thought today we'd have a look at that slash solo by the sword. It's a really good one. Um, it's quite easy, but um, there's some um, tricky kind of vibrato bits. So uh, let's have a look at it. All right, so here is lick number one. So this is starting off five to seven on the D string and then five on the G. Then you're going to do a bend up from seven on the G up a whole step to nine. And don't, sh don't give it any vibrato yet. So now add the vibrato. Then you're going to come back to four, hammer on to five on the G string. Then you're going to hit three here on that uh, D string. So, so far we've got this. Here's lick number two. Very similar that one, starts with the same. Five to seven on the D, five on the G. Bend up again, a whole step. Add the vibrato. Now this time we're gonna do five to seven on the G and then play four here on the D string, so. All right, here's lick number three. Okay, so again, very similar. Five, hammer on to seven on the D, five on the G. Now we're gonna go up here and do a, a double bend where you'll put your first finger on the eighth fret of the B, your third finger on the tenth fret all right, of the G, and you're just going to bend just the uh, just the G string up to the twelfth fret. Okay. And then once you've let that down, hit the tenth fret of the G twice and pull off to nine on the G. And then once you're there, you're going to do a little trick where you bend that nine back up to this note where you were, ju you, you were just at. So um, th th let me play that. All right, so that's number three. I'll play that for you again. Okay, now we've got a cool lick. That's a nice one, like that one. Now this is 10, pull off to nine on the G. This is all on the G. Uh, all right, now once you get to nine, slide back to seven. Nine again on the G. Pull off to seven, slide back to five. So, so far. Now, when you get here, you're gonna do seven on G. Now what I do here is, pull seven, off to six, off to five, but it's quite quick. And then back to four. Hammer on to five. And then, here's a weird thing, five on the high E. Do that again for you. So. That's a cool look. There, right now we're going up to the tenth fret and we do this. I love that uh, in the solo. It's quite kind of unusual, isn't it? Uh, it's 10 to 13, and then a big bend. So you're taking this note, bending it a tone and a half. Uh, so uh, up to that E there. 10 on the B again, and 12 on the G. Now we have this kind of unusual bending thing. 13 on the uh, B string. So you're doing that, do that twice. Now, move back one fret, and you're just gonna bend a semitone, so you're bending this note to sound like this note. So we've got. All right, doing that a couple of more times. 14 on the high E, back to 12 on the B. Let me play that phrase for you.
Now, now we've got a little kind of uh, an arpeggio thing. Uh, let's uh, hear how it goes. That's quite a cool run, isn't it? So we've got 14 on the G to 13 on the B. Now you're going to jump up to 17 on the high E. 13 on the high E. Slide back to 12. Let me do that for you. So get used to doing that because uh, it's a, a not too long this lick, but just break it down. 12 right, on the high E. Slide back to. Eight here on the high E. Then, with your little finger, I'd do this. Twelve, it's quite a big stretch, isn't it? Twelve onto the high E. And then pull that off. So, so far we've got this. So, this bit here. This is seven on the high E. Up to eight. And then a the little hammer on and pull off, seven to eight to seven. Ten on the B, nine on the G, eight on the B, eight to ten. So let me play that slow. Okie dokie, now we've got this. So this one, we're bending up 15 on the high E. And then we're going to do this. So we're bending up this high E again. Kill it when it gets to the top with your right hand. Let down. 12 on the high E. Then do the same on the B. So that's 15, bend up, kill it, let down. 13 on the B. 14 on the G and then we do this that's quite a nice blues lick that's 13 to 15 on the B 14 on the G finish on that um, 13 on the uh, on the B there so uh, let's see and then we have this So this is 15 to 13. And then you're going to pick the note again while it's still bent up. Pull off to 13, hit 14. So. And then bend that 15th fret up twice. Then we're going to do this kind of a Hotel California type thing where we go. So you're picking that three times. And then the last time, let down, pull off the 13. Then we have this phrase. Okay, uh, now, so I'm going to go back and kind of recap on this because it's a quite a complicated lick, but we basically have this. So 12 to 13. And then a hammer on between those same two notes. Okay. Then we're going to do 14 on the G, 14 on the D. 12 on the G, 14 on the G. So, so far we've got this. Okay. So. And then we're going to bend up a half step, this 12 on the B. And then we're going to 14 on the G, 13 on the, um, on the B there, and then we're going to do this thing. Bend up, 15 on the B, back down, and then uh, 15 to 13 on the B. So that, that's a long lick. It's quite confusing. Uh, if I go from...
watch that a couple of times you might need to rewind it uh, because it is a bit confusing I'll do it once more <laughs> Then we have this. So this is 15 on the high E. Bend up a whole step. And then we're going to 17 on the high E to 19 on the high E. And then we're going to bend up a half step, okay? So we've got that. This is a nice one, isn't it? Bend up a half step. And again. Let down and pull off to 15, then bend back up again. Okay, now we've got this final look. Okay, that's a cool blues lick, I think. Now that is, what is that? That's 17 on the high E, 17 on the B. And we're taking that 20 fret on the high E, getting really high now. Uh, upper tone and a half. And then let down. And then you do that. 20, 17. Back to 20 on the B this time. So. Back to 17 on the high E. It makes sense when you play it. Can we have this? That's fifth. Sorry, not 15, 17 on the high E. 20 pull off to 17, then 19 up to 21, and then 17 to 20, and then finally just bend that, that 19 up uh, a whole step. So. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that one. It's a nice one to, to play, isn't it? That uh, Some lovely vibrato, some nice legato runs. Slash always plays a great solo, so hope you enjoy that one.